Now, Worldwide, Coach, you have been associated with Otto Schwartz before. Is that the best strategy? Just throw whatever you can at this wild man? You might as well, because you can't out-wrestle him. You, you're not going to be stronger than him. You better take every advantage you can to try to get an opening to be able to score some miracle pinfall because, you know, in my opinion, Nick Richards is going to be the ice man. He's going to crash and burn tonight. <laughs> Nick Richards, of course, remains in the conversation of potential challengers for the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship. Winner of the Weaver Cup Tournament. That means he has a title opportunity. And coach, there has been a lot of speculation about just when Nick Richards will challenge the champion. He seems to be holding on to that title opportunity, waiting for the absolute right moment. You know, and that right moment could be in a trade, Brad. You know, we hadn't reached a trade deadline yet. And uh, I've always been known to pull off a blockbuster you know, just don't be surprised if uh, somebody up on the All-Stars cash it in. Otto, this monstrous man from Auto City Auto. Just breaking and ripping at the face of Nick Richards, a perennial favorite here in the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium. Richards just charges in. Good Lord, this is just a fight. I'm going to go with uh, Otto Swans. Otto holding on to the ankle. Richards, you can see the pain etched on his face. Look at the bishop down on, he's in there tight. He's checking, he's doing a great job as a referee. Don Juan, Charles Richardson. Richards trying to create some space here. What in the world? Oh, he stuck his thumbs in his eyes. That's clearly unsportsmanlike conduct. Richards doing anything to stay alive against this monstrous Otto Schwabs. The bishop needs to get in there and break this up. Let's see this matchup thrown out. Richards scaling the top rope. Double axe handle on the big man. I don't know if Otto feels any pain, coach. Oh, I don't know if he feels it or not, but he's stunned. I can tell just from the way he's moving. Two close lines, nothing from Otto Schwanz. It's like trying to chop down a redwood there, Nick Richards. Oh, Schwanz catches him in that mighty, mighty bear hug. It's over. He's just going to squeeze the life out of it. Richards crashes hard to the canvas. I think he just let him go just to play with him, just to punish him that much more. Schwann's taking that wrestling mask off. Does that mean he gets more intense? That means that he, he doesn't even fear at anything. There's no chance of an injury, so he, he just takes it off so he can see the fear in his opponent's face. Do you think anything changes in his mind mentally? Do you think it's like turning the hat around and that new movie over the top? Brad, we ain't got enough time and you ain't got enough money to talk about all his mental issues. Maybe he should see Dr. Dan at some point. Dr. Dan? I, Maybe Dr. Dan could cure him. I'm going to talk to him. I got a new regime I'm working on, and uh, I need to get to speak to him. Schwanz and Richards outside. I got one of those new exercise things. You probably see them on TV, right, Brad? Mm. Yeah. Make sure I'm doing it right. Otto, just a beast in there. My wife and I want to start jogging. Or maybe it's jogging. It might be a soft J. I'm not sure. That sounds too, like too much work for me. I, I don't, believe, oh. don't believe in running, jogging. That sounds too much like running. Too. Here's clothesline. You saw the sweat fly off of Nick Richards. That's it. Got him covered. Two. Down. Only got two. Schwanz, a former Mid-Atlantic heavyweight champion. And coach, I know this is going to be hard for you to hear, but we have to talk about just in the last six to eight months, Nick Richards has beaten three former Mid-Atlantic heavyweight champions.
champions. It was the Kamikaze Kid back in June. It was Eric Royal in the finals of the Weaver Cup tournament. And it was Roy Wilkins back in December. If Nick Richards, who has a guaranteed title opportunity, wins tonight, that's four former Mid-Atlantic heavyweight champions that Nick Richards has defeated. Whether you like it or not, Coach, I know you love statistics. That's an impressive stat. It's, it's a false stat. See, I've appealed all those decisions, and I'm just waiting for a ruling from the commissioner's office. And I feel that he's going to rule in our favor and reverse all three of those. So he would have to win tonight to start his streak over. Schwann's back to that bear hug, those huge arms. You may be right, though, from a standpoint of momentum and confidence. If this monstrous Otto Schwanz does win tonight, does it set Nick Richards all the way back to zero mentally? Absolutely. I mean, it's humiliating to be defeated on television, worldwide television. And that's what's going to happen, though. Look at Otto Schwanz. That's why Ethan pays him the money. Schwanz has controlled the last several moments of this matchup. Oh, could be that huge splash! No, sir! No water in the pool! But Schwanz is up! Does Schwanz feel any pain? DDT! This time I'm sure he staggered. Crowd is rallying behind the Weaver Cup Tournament Champion, Nick Richards. The drove him into the mat! Cover! Two and three! Nick Richards has beaten four former Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Champions, Coach! I can't believe it. I, I can't. I want to see a replay of this or something. I, he had to have pulled out some kind of trick out from his, out from his tights. He, he must have hit Otto in the head with something. As long as I've waited to cash in that Mid-Atlantic title shot, I've waited even longer for this opportunity against Trevor Lee. That's right. But I'll tell you, CL, I'll tell everybody here, I am getting a little tired of waiting. 